welcome to my home cut and today we are going to be making lamb curry which is uh, I probably describe as one of my favorite dishes so let me run you through the ingredients which we have an array here so the ingredients you'll need today are finely chopped onions minced chilies minced ginger minced garlic on the spice front we will need cloves whole peppercorns we'll also need some cumin as ever black cardamom seeds turmeric cassia bark dried fenugreek leaves garam masala and salt now to the main ingredient uh, the meat I'm using is lamb neck fillet cut into um, bite-sized pieces we also need Greek yogurt, tin tomato. I've uh, blended this because that will give me a smoother sauce. We'll need some coriander. I'm also going to need the uh, the, the coriander stalks as well as the leaves. And also I have here uh, some uh, chopped, um, small to medium sized carrots. I've got about four or five there. So my stove is fired up and we're ready to go. So as ever, let's go in with the oil. So I'd say a couple of tablespoons there and let's throw in the chopped onions. So what we want is to give the onions a good soften. We don't want them to colour in any way, we just want them to soften up. In with the onions, I'm going to put my some of my whole spices. So we're going to go with, I will say, five whole peppercorns. I'm going to go with three cloves. Now the important thing to do is just make your diners aware that there are whole spices in this dish because i don't imagine as, as beautiful the flavor will be with these spices it wouldn't be nice to chow down on one of these for example so just warm them so uh, we've got the cloves and the peppercorns in i'm going to put in two black cardamoms i'm also going to put in maybe that's a two inch piece of the, the cassia your bark and let's let these onions soften and cook out a little and get to know some of these whole spices that we put in. So while my onions are softening it occurred to me that I could use some bay. So I have a bay tree over here so why not use it? One bay leaf too so let's bring that to the pot. I'm popping in two teaspoons of whole cumin seeds at this point as well. As you can hear from that sizzle, the onions are taking off a little, so I'm going to add um, the ginger and garlic. Uh, so let's pop those in. I'm going with two cubes. Now you know that I use, um, I, I chop up minced garlic and ginger in my ice cube tray, so it equates to about one and a half teaspoons if you don't choose not to, to actually freeze as I do. But I just find it makes life so much easier. I'm going to go put in my uh, minced chilies as well. Let's be a little bit conservative and um, put in a little less than I've allowed to begin with. And then we can taste that later. So I'm now gonna let these cook out a little bit before I add my dry spices. As you can see, that's all now softened. So I'm going to put in one and a tiny amount teaspoons of turmeric and while going with my masala as well so I'm going to put in two level teaspoons uh, you can be you can use a lot more spice uh, for red meats um, and you know the flavor should really be more robust because the meat can stand up to it so let's let these dry spices cook off for a bit we're building our flavors we're building the layers of flavor here now uh, and shortly we will add uh, the tin tomato. I'm going in with my tin tomato now. Uh, so um, I'm going to use um, a ladle. So uh, I'm going to use two ladlefuls. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Because we probably want the dish to be a bit more tomatoey for the, for the lamb. Let's put in a little bit more and I'm now going to let that cook out. So while that's cooking out, let me give you a bit of a lowdown with regards to, to what this stage is. So this is a, is a this stage is called the, the dadga, 
um, and it's an essential uh, foundation essentially uh, to your curry. So this, this, at this stage here will determine the ultimate outcome uh, of your curry. So this is why it's really important and it's really important to allow the spices to cook out and allow the flavours to develop and build in layers. So let's look down in the pot because we are at this point now. So can you see this colour here, this colour change of the oil? You can see that's, that's red. There's a holby there that's a, it's a slight golden tinge to it too. Uh, but that's our indication that the vodka is ready. Uh, now that the now that we've got to the stage where just before we're adding the meat, I'm going to actually try the vodka to test for seasoning. So. Mm. I'm happy with the spice and the levels of heat there. Those eagle-eyed of you uh, will notice I've not put in any salt. Now I'm going to hold off from adding the salt because if I add the salt right at the start, it may toughen the meat. So I'm going to season with salt right at the end of cooking because I want the, the meat to be yielding and soft. We're going in with the meat. So let's pop that straight in. And give it a good mix. So it's coated with all of your tarka. Okay, so that's now thoroughly mixed. At this point, I'm also going to now add the yogurt. So I've got natural Greek set yogurt. I'm gonna go in with a couple of tablespoons and give that a mix and also add a splash of water. Now I'm not gonna to add too much water because during the cooking process, uh, the meat will also release uh, some liquid uh, so, personally, I would like a, a thicker, drier curry, so I don't want to, to, to make it too liquid at this point. Turning the heat right up, and then I'm going to add some water. Okay, so let's now throw in a splash of water. I'll leave that there, and then bring this to the boil, and then we're going to let it simmer for... 15 or 20 minutes or so before we add in our carrots. So let's take a peek at what's under the lid. Come here. Oh, now, as you see, there's lots of water now that's been released. You can see what I meant about, be cautious about how much water you're adding. You can see the meat has shrunk um, and water has been released. Now, I am awfully sorry, uh, my bad, I actually forgot to add the coriander stalks at the start in the third so I'm going to add these now. And do you know what? There's not always a right and wrong about cooking. Sometimes you can plate by ear. Probably not with baking, but you can when you're making a curry a little. There's a little bit of flex. I'm going to add my carrots at this point as well. So let's drop those in. Make sure all of the carrots are coated. I'm also at this point going to add some dried fenugreek or methi. So I'm actually going to just use a pinch of that and sprinkle that on. Maybe two pinches. Depends on how big your fingers are really. My hands are very small. So Let's give that a stir. Now we're going to leave that to simmer for another 20 to 30 minutes. Let the meat go completely soft, and completely cook out, and then it will be ready to serve. Okay, so it's been half an hour, so by rights this meat should be ready. So let's have a look. So that sauce is absolutely lovely. That's exactly the consistency that I want. Let's have a feel for the meat. Oh, that's lovely and soft. It just breaks under the pressure of the spoon. So now is my time to taste the seasoning and add the salt. So, um, before I do the salt, I'm actually going to, to check where we're up to in terms of the spices. Oh, that's got 
Very much the heat in there. It's got a bit of a poke, but um, you really should with red meat. That's delicious. So let's go with a couple of teaspoons of molten salt. Give that a good mix. But let's uh, pop in some chopped coriander at this point as well. Uh, we'll mix that all together and then give it a final taste. You can see with carrots, they've kept their shape. It's, a, it's quite a robust vegetable, really. Okay, that's all mixed in. So now let's have one more taste. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Now, this is a care package that I've made for one of my really good friends. So I'm a firm believer in spreading the love. So this I'm not going to eat, and this will be. Um, I would advise that you have this with uh, um, naan or chapatis or some of the flatbreads would be delicious, or rice, whatever your preference is. A little bit of Greek yogurt and a side salad. Enjoy.